Phantoms Anonymous. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fandoms Anonymous. We're here today to talk about the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer. I gotta give it to you, Marvel. I gotta give it to you. That trailer was real nice. That trailer was real nice. I liked it. I liked it, liked it, liked it. All right, but let's talk about the specifics. Uh, one thing I want to point out was a little a few Easter eggs we saw. We got to see my man Michael Keaton with the old school vulture ruffles around his neck. I thought that was cool, but I'm glad they're not doing that as the full suit because that would be so not in this time. Um, <clears throat> what else we saw in this trailer? We got to see the homemade suit that Spider-Man made. We got to see the new suit and some of the tech that it has in it as well with the little spider coming out of the front that can fly around like a little drone. That was cool. I like how when he puts on the suit, he hits the button and it sucks up around him. I, I think that's the awesome part of the suit rather than just the, eh, 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 the old spandex good old try. Um, I think this movie is going to be good. There are some people that did say that um, they felt like it showed a lot, but we're in peak movie season where everybody is trying to get their movie noticed so they can get guaranteed tickets. Speaking of guaranteed tickets, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 has the full slate of tickets out for like the first full weekend. I know with Power Rangers, a lot of people weren't expecting that movie to be big, but it was. Um, they only had a few days set out when it came to the movie, but Guardians of the Galaxy in my theater down around the corner here from my house is already sold out for the IMAX and regular and th regular 3D showings for the first night, which is the Thursday night before that Friday when the movie airs. So they're trying to boost this morale up. July is not as far as away as you think it is because March is here, April is in a few days. And May 5th, for Guardians will be here for you know it. And July, 4th of July holiday and July 7th will be here for you know it as well for Spider-Man Homecoming. But I thoroughly enjoyed the trailer. I like what they saw. Um, I hope that I saw something that made me laugh a little bit. It was like, okay, you're putting the old lady glasses on Aunt May. Uh, I'm sorry. She's, she's still, she's still going to be bad because, um. Uh, Marissa Tomei is bad. I don't care what nobody say. So you can put the old lady glasses and the old lady clothes on all you want to, but it's not going to change how I feel and how we all feel about Marissa Tomei. Okay. Uh, another thing, Iron Man's um, inclusion in this film as well. You know, we got a same piece of what we saw before the car scene uh, when they were talking. We got a same piece of what they were talking about when he was telling him, like, don't worry about the big bird man. Um, but what we got to see this time was when Spider-Man was trying to save the people out there on the ferry and the ferry was splitting open and Iron Man came and saved the day with some of his tech. And when he walked out of that suit out of mid air, that was so crispy. Like that, that was, that was Tony Stark. Like he just, yeah, you know, and just, just having a conversation in the suit is just still sitting in mid air. So we getting some new tech from from uh, from Iron Man too. So what we see is the uh, division between Spider Man and Iron Man, where Iron Man is like, you can't be out here doing this crazy stuff, man. Leave this man alone. You see what happened to cause these people to get hurt. Um, and he was like, you know, I'm nothing without the suit. If that's the case, give me back the suit. So it looks like the big third, the action piece we're going to get. He's not going to have his suit that Tony gave him with the tech. He's gonna have his regular suit on because Michael Keaton was handing it to his behind with that regular suit on. So, other than that, I enjoyed the trailer. Like I said, I don't feel like it gave too much. I feel like it gave what's about to happen for this movie season. We are in full gear with movie season, guys. I mean, full-fledged gear. We guys got the Justice League trailer the other day and Justice League is not coming out to November. So that shows you how serious it is. Uh, so, again, Spider-Man Homecoming. Gotta give it up to you. An awesome trailer. Awesome trailer. So, we got some more stuff coming up for you guys. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for an, the new episode of Fandom Talk. We missed you guys last week. We were in Power Rangers land. Blah, 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 blah. blah. So, we, uh, we'll be back with a new episode of Fandom Talk. So, join me, Kevin, and Jeremy Branch from B-Terrible Productions and Fandom Talk. Uh, if you want to get looking for some hot t-shirts, some hot sci-fi, comic booky type t-shirts, check out my man David at DC Visual Arts. He's on Etsy. He has an Etsy shop. So check that out. That's DC Visual Arts. 
Uh, so if there isn't anything else, guys, follow us everywhere. We're Phantoms Anonymous. That's F-A-N-D-O-M-S. A-N-O-N-Y-M-O-U-S. Find Phantoms Anonymous on Facebook. Come join the group. Bring in the discussion. Uh, Phantoms Anonymous on the Facebook page. Like the page. Check out some of the uh, postings that we do. Follow us on Instagram, Phantoms underscore Anonymous 17. Follow us on Twitter, at Anonymous underscore Fan 17 as well. So, guys, thank you for watching, and thank you for being a part of Phantoms Anonymous.